In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy crypto with Ledger Live. For those of you who own a Ledger hardware device, you may be interested to hear that you can now buy crypto right from within Ledger Live. And this feature means that you now only need one place to buy, secure and manage your crypto. And you can purchase the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash and Dash with Stellar and US Dollar Tether coming soon. Simply log into Ledger Live from your desktop or mobile device and exchange your fiat currency for the cryptocurrency of your choice. And depending on your location, you can purchase your crypto with your credit card or your bank transfer, both of which will incur some fees, which I'm going to take you through shortly. So the first thing you'll need to do to get started is to run the latest version of Ledger Live. So let's jump into updating it now and see how we can buy our crypto. And if you want to find out more information about Ledger, there's a full post on my website, everybithelps.co.uk. So if you head across now and log into Ledger Live, you'll see there's now an update available at the top of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and download that now. And install now. And if, like me, you run into problems updating from within Ledger Live, you can go across to the official Ledger site and go to Downloads and then download Ledger Live as if you were installing it as new. And then it will just automatically update your version. Also, if you don't already have a Ledger hardware device and you're looking to get one, then I've got a link in the summary below to the official site that you can use if you wish. So now we've successfully updated and relaunched, you'll see some release notes in relation to the latest update. So as you can see here, we're on Ledger Live version 2.5.0. And now you can buy crypto directly from Ledger Live. And there's also some bug fixes in here too. And we can choose to buy now from the top of the screen here. Or you can see there's an option on the left hand side to buy crypto. So now we're on a buy crypto page. And from here, you can choose your crypto asset from the drop down list. And you can purchase the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash and Dash from the list here. And then it'll ask which account you'd like to send the funds to. If you then click on to continue, it'll then ask you to connect your device and open the Bitcoin app on your device. And then for me, the screen went white for a little while, so don't worry and give it a little bit of time if it does. So as you can see in the bottom left of the screen, this service is powered by Coinify, who have been around since 2014 and are a well-trusted gateway to virtual currencies. And they've previously had relationships with the likes of blockchain.com for buying and selling crypto from their site. Now from here, you can choose your fiat currency from the drop down here. And as you can see, there's a whole host of different currencies that you can select from the list. I'm from the UK, so I'm just gonna select GBP. And then you can enter in the amount that you'd like to purchase. So I'm going to put an amount of £100 of Bitcoin in here. And then it will show me the amount that I'm actually going to receive in Bitcoin here too. So let's just take a look at the fees. So as you can see, there are some handling fees here, which are applied on top. And if we show details. So as you can see, there's bank transfer fees of 1.7%. And credit and debit cards incur 4.5% in the EEA and the rest of the world too. And depending on your location or fiat currency will depend on which payment methods are available to you. Then there's also conversion fees which are deducted from the amount. And outside the US that's at 0.5% for foreign exchange fees. Plus a network fee deducted from the amount too to transfer the funds. So if you're happy with all of that you can go ahead and buy now. And it'll then pass you across to the Coinify site, where you'll need to create or log into an account. You'll then need to verify your identity and provide your country of residence. It allows for your preferred method of payment, and I'm going to select bank account in the UK. You'll then need to verify and confirm your email too. Then once that's all confirmed, you'll need to provide a one-time identity for anti-money laundering regulations. And you'll have to enter in your residential address, 
state how you plan to use your account. And then you'll need to verify your identity with photographic ID and a selfie too. And once you're verified, you can go to trade now. And we're now back at that buy crypto screen. And as you can see, just underneath my payment method, it states here that the minimum handling fee is £9.99 for GBP. And I can trade up to £222 for the same handling fee. And there's also some restrictions in terms of the amount that you can buy for your first trade. So let's take this back to £100 in GBP. And if I select bank transfer and continue, it will then give you a warning about the rate being indicative and can change depending on the market. It will then show a confirmation of your purchase. So it will show you the amount of Bitcoin that you'll receive. It will show you the amount that you're paying, the fee, the total cost and the estimated delivery. And it'll also show you your Bitcoin wallet address and you'll need to check the box here. And if you're happy with all of that, you can go ahead and confirm. And you'll then need to connect up your device to confirm that the address matches. Then you'll be shown the bank details of where to send your funds to and it'll give you a summary of your order. And the total amount of Bitcoin that you're receiving with Ledger Live and Coinify is at 0.0124. Whereas with the current market rate, the exchange rate for the same amount is at 0.0129. Now I also hold a Revolut account where I have both a Euro and US dollar account. So let's head back and see if I can purchase with these forms of fiat currencies. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel my trade. And now that I've entered in my location, you can see that I now have a limited number of options in terms of fiat currencies available and US dollars isn't available from here. So if I just select euros, and when I do, I actually save myself in fees for purchasing smaller amounts of crypto, as the minimum handling fee for euros is actually at 4.99 euros, as opposed to that £9.99 of GBP. So I'll be saving about 50% here. So with all these fees, you'll find that purchasing your crypto using Ledger Live won't be the cheapest way to buy your crypto as opposed to using larger exchanges like Coinbase Pro or Binance. But it's really convenient and means that you don't have to leave your ledger and your funds will go straight to your hardware device. Also, the rate that you're paying at with Ledger Live and Coinify is higher than the market rate with some additional fees in there. So you're also losing out on some crypto there too. But that completes how you can buy crypto with Ledger Live. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like hit the subscribe button and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.